so I'm in the Carolina mountains. I'm taking a break and it's really cold up here. It's about 32 degrees. It just snowed. So we're gonna be making some soup. And the soup that we're gonna make is this whole recipe that I got from this woman named Carla. I don't know the whole history of it. A recipe that's been in her family forever and ever. This really delicious soup that's super fast to make, but very delicious. It's Mennonite soup. It's like a potato soup with some celery. Mm -mm -mm. And if you haven't made this, this is delicious. I'll tell you right now, you need to make this. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chop some garlic. And then you'll take the potato, since the potato's round, there's gonna be a side that's round, you wanna remove it. You'll cut them into little strips, like you're gonna make homemade french fries. You wanna cut the potatoes in little one quarter inch or half inch. The main thing is that you want to cut them all the same size so that they cook at the same rate. Not every potato is meant to be in soup. In this particular application, I want the potatoes to be soft and firm. When you go to the store and you see potatoes that like are baking potatoes that look kind of like they, they're dusty just a little bit, those are not waxy potatoes. The waxy potatoes are these. These are the ones that don't have like that dusty look on them. And they call them waxy potatoes. Our low starch, high moisture. Other potatoes that you can use are also like fingerlings. They're low starch, high moisture. And if you cut them, they will maintain their shape inside the cooking process. If you want to do a rough chop, then you can do a rough chop. Just make sure that your rough chop, they're sort of almost all the same. The better that you make the cuts consistent, the better that they will cook all throughout at the same time. Onions. And now you have all these cuts in here. And now you're gonna hold it together with your hands like this. Keep your fingers like a cloth, and then you're gonna cut. That's how you can get a quick dice for most soups. She's like, oh, I can't believe you're gonna make it on the channel. This is a delicious soup. You know, her recipe doesn't really have garlic in it. I'm gonna add garlic in it because I love garlic. The starches and the flour are gonna engorge themselves and they're gonna thicken the liquid. All right, so this has been cooking for about 20 minutes. and then you're gonna add some milk. We're gonna put the potatoes in here, and we're gonna let the stock and the milk do its thing and cook them. You have to use this cheese, so the Velveeta cheese. You can snub your nose at it, and you can be like, oh, I can't, it does, this is, this is delicious. And I'm gonna cut it in half. And if you're really opposed to the Velveeta, which I'm not, uh, you can add some cream cheese in there, a pound of just regular white cream cheese. I'm not saying this is a soup you need to eat every single day, but hey, it's really very hearty and very filling. And Carla was correct when she was warning you don't, don't put any other cheeses in it because they'll break. You have like those wonderful aromatics. It's just an absolutely heartwarming, delicious dish. If you're a person that just loves soups at any time, like me, this is delicious for right now. Well, everybody's eating it. Climbing up those, that's a long way to go from down there, right? Oh yeah, it is. So I'm gonna be making this really delicious soup. It's uh, it's like a potato soup with some celery. 